Welcome to Festool TV, I'm Phil. These are the range of saws for Festool. We have two which are sliding compound mitre saw, and we also have one which is a symmetric SIM 70. So with this machine, it means we can cut extreme angles as well. The symmetric SIM 70 has a maximum cutting capacity of 70 millimetres. But also, in terms of width, we can cut 80 millimetres. But this machine makes a real difference when it comes to cutting angles. So the symmetric, I can set a sliding bevel to the angle that I need the material to be cut at. But with this double fence arrangement here, it means then I can cut very, very accurately and very simply. Because once my angle has been found, I can then put the bevel onto the bed of the machine. We can bring the fence back, take it exactly to where the bevel is positioned, and then we can get a really accurate cut. Combine that with the correct blade and the correct speed, it then means we can work in a really simple, easy way. And of course, because it's a small saw, it's easily transportable. So working with the flooring industry for cutting extreme angles, or even if you're cutting a lot of mouldings, this machine is perfect for those types of applications. Next one we can look at is the KS60. And with the KS60, this has a maximum cutting capacity of 60 millimetres. And in terms of cutting width, this will cut 305 millimetres. Because the machine works on these two uh, twin guides, it means that the back of the saw is very, very small. So in terms of transport or where the saw is being used, it doesn't take up a lot of space. But for cutting angles, of course, it's really important. And on the left and on the right-hand side, we can cut up to 60 degrees. And for bevels, of course, this will go past 45 degrees on the left, but also on the right-hand side as well. But with the KS60, we can also cut angles with this machine as well. But we can also work really accurately. So with the angle finder, it means that I can, s I can find exactly where the angle needs to be cut. You can then lock this into position, put this onto the fence of the saw, and then with the shadow line coming across, I can then achieve a really clean, accurate cut while I'm using the KS60. So with the KS60, we can have a small saw, which only weighs 18 kilograms. So when it's folded up, it's very compact, but of course, extremely light and easy to move as well. And on the side, if we, take, uh, if we undo this screw here, you can then pull the side supports out as well. So that means that your material is always supported each and every time you use the KS60. So for, me, for a machine with a larger cutting capacity, we can now look at the KS120. With the, with the KS120, when we bring the head up, we have 88 millimetres in this position. As soon as we bring the machine around to the side, and we take the head of the machine forward, we can then bring this lever down and then lock it into position. And now the cutting capacity has gone up to 120 millimetres. So now if I'm cutting material such as skirting board, I can cut this flat up against the fence, but it means that I have a 120 millimetre cutting capacity. And to release it, push down, and then this can come back into that position. So the KS120, we can also cut at 305 millimetres in depth. We can cut 50 degrees on the left-hand side, but 60 degrees on the right-hand side. And of course, for angles, we can go past 45 degrees on the left and also on the right-hand side. But the big advantage of using a machine like this, of course, is accuracy. And if this lever is brought up on the back, we can then really fine-tune the angle that we need to cut at just by turning the lever, in, by turning this little, ha little handle here, and then we can let go, and then the, the angle can be locked exactly into position. So you have a lot of control over how accurate you work by using the KS120. So the KS120, again, works on these two twin guides, and it means that the back of the saw is really compact. So for transport, but also for where the machine is being used, it doesn't take up a great deal of room. Of course, when work, working on the cart, not only do you have a stable platform to work on, but it also means that this can fold up for transport as well. The big advantage of the cart 
is it means that the KS60 will also fit onto the same stand that the KS120 uses. But even when this is folded up, again, it fits part of our system because the handle will sit at the same height as the rest of our products as well. So I hope this helps your understanding of working with these saws. And then the next stage is to show you how we can also work with these machines. <laughs>